What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So today we have more S2000 content. Hope you guys are liking it. Like I said, I just barely got my S2000 for almost a week now. I know in terms of videos, it might seem like quite a while. Uh, but yeah, I picked this car up less than a week ago. Uh, I've been slowly ordering parts. So as you guys know, with every new build, um, you always want to kind of start small and start on like, I guess you can say more budget friendly items. So it's exactly what I did. Um, I have big plans for the S2000. Uh, I'll be making a video separately talking about what plans I have for it. But this will be a big build, so I hope you guys are excited. As of right now, she's pretty much a clean slate. Uh, I was trying to find an S2000 stock or as stock as possible for that reason. So, first part actually just came in the mail. Like I said, I ordered this a few days ago. Already came. Overnight parts from Japan. You guys know I like my JDM stuff. Every car has to have the Broadway mirror treatment. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a famous Japanese brand. Pretty much it is a clip-on convex mirror. You can get the blue tint, which is what I got, or just the normal silver one. Uh, it'll make a huge difference in the car and is universal, fits on any car. Every single one of my cars have these. The second thing I'm about to do is look through my stash of parts in this cabinet. Um, right now, I think I'm gonna throw this on. This came off my Mitsubishi Lancer show build. This is a carbon fiber license plate frame. Currently, no license plate frame. Just gonna throw it on. You know, always good to start small. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you would know that I do have some parts for the S2000 already. So I did buy some parts for this car before I even bought the car. And you guys might think I'm crazy, but yes, I was dead set on buying this car um, so first thing I actually bought for the car is in this huge box over there. Uh, box is upside down, but it says Jace Racing on it. Um, uh, to recap you guys' memory, Jace Racing makes some nice quality JDM parts. J it's a Japanese brand. But I didn't get parts from Jace Racing, there's actually just a box. Inside, I actually have a Voltex carbon fiber wing. To be exact, it's the Voltex Type 2 carbon fiber wing. Super excited to throw it on the S2000. But as of right now, car is so stock looking, I'm not just gonna throw a big wing on it. So there's a lot more stuff I wanna put on the car before I put the wing on. So yeah, just stay tight. I do have a wing setup coming for it. Another thing I picked up this in one of these race boxes is an intake. So like I said, currently the car is stock. That includes the engine bay stock intake. Uh, they'll be replaced by, by an ARC intake box. That's something I picked up a few months ago as well. Um, like I said, rare JDM parts couldn't pass it up. I already knew I was going to slowly stash up parts before I got this car. Um, the Voltex carbon fiber wing, I believe I picked it up back in, I think, November or December 2020. So it's been over a year since I had that part. Pretty crazy, I know. Um, if you guys are wondering what this HKS box is over here, um, that is the stock suspension for the S2000, the struts and the springs. It is currently sitting on the HKS Hypermax callovers. But yeah, um, purpose of today's video is we'll be doing some simple mods. Let's start with the license plate frame. Super easy. I like license plate frame look. So super easy to throw on. Literally all you need is your wrench with a 10 mil. If you don't have that, it's okay. You can just use a flat tip screwdriver, but super easy. This comes right off. I'm just gonna do it by hand. So just loosen both sides. By the way, if you guys are wondering why am I rocking the Louisiana license plates, that is because I bought the car in Louisiana. Um, I don't have my Texas license plates just yet. But yeah, I'm gonna do the uh, title transfer, all that stuff first. For now, it's cool rocking out of state plates. I've never been to Louisiana before, before buying this car. Um, I didn't even know how Louisiana license plates look like. Anyways, license plate off. Goes over like that. And yeah, just put it back on, super easy.
there you have it carbon fiber license plate frame is on super easy mod um, I do want to switch out these bolts it's all in the little details on my Civic SI I do have Mugen bolts license plate bolts here and here I'll probably get it ordered just so you know little touch nice Mugen touch um, since this is going to be a big Honda build for me you guys already know there are popular brands like Spoon as well as Mugen that's big in the Honda game so yeah leave in the comment section below do you think I should do like a Mugen theme or a Spoon theme S2000 um, like I said stay tuned uh, I'll be putting out a video talking about my plans for it um, I want it to be a JDM theme car as always I love my Japanese brands uh, so brands like HKS, like Voltex, um, Jace Racing, Spoon, Mugen, Carbing, you know, just all these ARC, all these brands I'm hoping to make, hopefully make their way onto this build. So um, I'm really excited for what's to come for the car. It's going to be a slow and long process, but it's going to be worth it. So now that the license plate frame is done, let's go ahead and slap on the second thing, the Broadway mirror. So let's go ahead and unlock the car. I have my puppy Bella over here as well. First time that she's seen the S2000. I'm gonna hop in. Bella, come here. Let's let her jump in the car first. Let her hop in. She's a little scared because first time she's seen this car. Unfamiliar scent. Usually if it's one of my cars that she's used to, she would just hop right in. So I guess she's just gonna hang out on site. But yeah. This is the OEM mirror. This is how it looks. As you can tell, most rear view mirrors only have like a little, I guess with the top down you can see a lot, but with the top up in the glass, usually you see like three quarters of the rear view mirror glass. What this Broadway mirror does is give, well, firstly it looks cooler. Secondly, you get a much wider angle uh, off the back. So it's super easy, just clip on. Let me go ahead and take it out of the box. So Broadway rear view mirror is on. Like I said, this one has a slight blue tint to it. Uh, it's kind of hard to see in camera, but on here it also says Broadway mirror, this little logo that's uh, engraved on it. So yeah, small little mod, but much better visibility off the back. Like I said, I do have the Broadway mirror on the other cars. I do have to say on the S2000 is a tight fit just because there's not much space up here. Um, there are a few other options. They do make, I believe, the like Mugen uh, carbon fiber mirror caps on the back. Uh, if you just wanted an overlay of the mirror glass, I think Spoon makes one that's convex and blue tint as well. So a few different options. This is a pretty cheap option. It's just a clip-on. So like I said, you can use it on any car. Um, even if you sell the car in the future, it's literally just a clip that comes right off. So super easy to remove. All right, so I know that's really simple and kind of lame modification to do to the car, but hey, small little mods at a time. I've already, first mod I've actually done is the dash cam install. I think that's really important. So this, I guess you can consider it the license plate frame as well as the Broadway mirror. So three mods so far that I've done to the car. Um, like I said, big plan, stay tuned. Um, bigger mods like the ARC intake as well as the Voltex carbon fiber wing, I'll wait till later just because right now the car is pretty stock. Uh, what I really want to do is get some wheels and tires. It urgently needs it. Right now, it has the OEM AP1 S2000 wheels in 16s. Um, so yeah, they're comfortable, but you know, just I need off the market wheels, change up the look of the car. And you guys already know, I'm trying to source a set of my favorite type of wheels, the Race. Volk Racing T37s. Um, from what I learned, uh, pretty much the S2000 has a really high offset if you have the stock brake setup. 
typically most owners run like a 17 or 18 inch wheel uh, I'll probably go with 17s um, most common spec is like a 17 by 9 plus 45 so around that range uh, if you have your offset lower then it's gonna be hard to fit um, but yeah I think I'm really trying to like I said really trying to find some uh, T37s uh, new or used it's hard to find in a high offset plus 45 or more but we also have some other mods that's coming that I already ordered um, so expect to see a trip to the Honda dealership pretty soon when I bought the car it came with this uh, key it's your standard Honda key just black in color the H emblem I believe is a spare key the previous owner only had this key left but the S2000 has a special key that actually says S2000 on it and looks a little different so I went ahead and placed an order with the dealership. Um, you gotta get that, you know, buy that, get it installed, get a program, get the key cut, all that good stuff. I have a separate video for the key, so make sure to stay tuned. Uh, I'll do a cost breakdown as well if any of you S2000 owners are interested. Um, let's see what else. Oh, I also placed an order for some floor mats. Currently, I already do have floor mats. They're just some basic black floor mats. I believe the previous owner said he just got them off like Amazon or something like that. I source some OEM S2000 floor mats in red. So it's actually red in color and it says S2000 on it. Um, the OEM floor mats are pretty expensive. Uh, we'll talk more about those, the cost and all that whenever I do get it. Um, I'm trying to source a few more OEM stuff. But yeah, OEM parts are just so hard to find since S1000 has been discontinued for now. Parts are discontinued. But yeah, that's what makes the uh, build fun. Right now, let's go inside the office. Um, I actually have <laughs> some parts I'm possibly looking to buy for the S2000 up. So let's talk more about it in the office. All right, so right now I'm on Nangood's website. I am contemplating, like I said, doing uh, a Mugen or Spoon build. Uh, I could probably mix and match both. First things first, I currently have the OEM shift knob. So I'm looking at possibly getting this Mugen carbon fiber shift knob. They have with the red trim. They also have one with the black trim. Um, your six gears. Again, this is uh, the authentic stuff, not your eBay stuff. And then here's another option, more simple. They have it in black, red, and I think silver. So, I like the carbon option better. I mean, who doesn't? But the only thing is the price difference is like a hundred bucks more. So I don't know if it's worth paying a hundred bucks extra just for you know a prettier shift knob. Um, also looking at some Mugen caps. These are oil caps. They have it in the black, the champagne gold, the silver. So a few different options. I like the gold. Um, looking at other stuff in the engine bay, this is like a carbon fiber. Sorry, this is a carbing um, plate over the radiator. They come with the aluminium look, or you can also get it in the carbon fiber look. I'm thinking to change things up from my uh, Mitsubishi build. That build, since the car is black in color, I have a lot of like titanium parts in the engine bay. This one, I might have it more clean, like carbon fiber bits. What do you guys think? Um, the carbon option is cool, but like I said, it's also 100 bucks more than the aluminum one. A uh, bunch of other parts here, Voltex parts. But yeah, all these expensive parts, I really want, but I'll probably have to wait for a little bit. What I like to do to gain inspiration is also follow S2000 owners on Instagram, as well as look on Super Street. So basically, I go in, type in S2000, read all these S2000 articles. Um, there's just so many articles on different S2000 builds. It really gives me inspiration. Oh, yeah. I hope you guys like that simple video. Oh, I forgot to add. Um, I also do already have another part that the previous owner gave me. Uh, it is actually a works bell short hop for the S2000. So what that means is I can pretty much bolt on an aftermarket steering wheel. I already have a few like uh, vertex steering wheels that I have. Um, so I'm not sure I might do that, but then I'm like, if I do that, I need more interior mods. So that's why I'm like, maybe I should get a shift knob to complement the aftermarket steering wheel. As of right now, uh, he actually had the aftermarket set up, but he was like, do you want the OEM steering wheel back on? And I said, yes. 
I just wanted to enjoy the stock steering wheel for a little bit, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, stay tuned. I have so many plans for the S2000. This will be a long build, but I'm super excited. Uh, if you guys follow me for my Mitsubishi Lancer turbo build, you know I had that build for six years now. And like that thing I got since stock, it just came such a long way. So I hope you guys are excited for the S2000 build as well, because I am. Um, I'm trying to push the boundaries and make it even crazier. Um, I, I just have this vision of how I want to build the car already. So stay tuned. Again, if you guys stick to the end, leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel yet. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.